how to explain Christmas to a child and grown-ups as well. Too much tradition mixed with spiritual truth. It makes it hard to tell Jesus from Santa Claus and the wise men from the snowmen. I think of my own fond memories growing up of selecting and decorating the tree and then assembling the family nativity scene, fresh baked homemade cookies, and of course, the music of Christmas. So why not think of all of this at a Christmas tree farm, like this one used for Hallmark movies and owned by our former Haven Ministries board chair. Let me share a verse which comes tucked away in a New Testament letter by Paul. 2 Corinthians 8, 9 becomes a special verse when you realize it's all about Christmas. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you, through his poverty, might become rich. A single verse summing up the great truth behind the birth of Jesus Christ. I like an approach one pastor suggested explaining Christmas as ABC. A, he was rich, but not in the rich sense that we think of in this world. He doesn't just own this universe, he actually created the universe. He's much more than a billionaire or even a trillionaire. But B, he became poor. He took on the life of a man. He was born and laid in a manger in Bethlehem, a small little town south of Jerusalem. He became poor and lived a life in poverty all the way to the cross to die for our sins, to set us free from our sins. And see, that we might become rich. Not rich in this earthly sense that I talked about a moment ago, but rich in a heavenly sense. The righteousness of Christ comes upon us as we walk with Him, as He lives in us, as His Spirit indwells us. So, may I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And thank you for your help as we share the ABCs of Christmas.